Hey guys, it's been a long, long time. The last time I was here, I was doing makeup videos, but that's besides the point. I will ramble on later about what I've been up to, but you guys will realize soon enough what I've been up to. I'm in nursing school, and it's been taking up all my time, all my life, everything. It's just been taking my life completely away. I've been procrastinating to start this video, these videos for a long, long time. Um, when I first started nursing school, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I had no idea what it was like, um, what to expect. I didn't know anyone beforehand. I didn't know students prior to nursing school and how their experience went. I had no freaking clue. After first semester, I wanted to show you guys my experience through nursing school and I just didn't know how to start and I prolonged it. I did second semester and I've been now in nursing school for over a year and I'm going into my third semester starting in a couple days so it's like right there. And I waited a whole year and some to start these videos but I finally put myself to it and I said I need to start. If I'm gonna do it, if I really wanna do it, I've been thinking about it for over a year now, why not do it? Okay, so let's get to the point of this video. So I'm going into third semester. It's been quite a journey. It's been very tough. Everyone says nursing school is super, super hard, which it is, it's super tough, but it's very doable. If it wasn't doable, we wouldn't have any nurses, so um, keep that in mind when you are going to class, when you are going to clinicals, when you're waking up early in the morning at 5 a.m., 4 a.m., whatever time you need to get up to make it to your clinical on time, just know that it's doable and it's worth it and we will all get through this. You just have to be patient and keep going through because we all got this. I'm getting ready for third semester. So every school is different. My school, I'm, in, I'm going for my ADN. So it means your associate's degree in nursing. Um, we have four semesters. Our first semester is all fundamentals and um, we have a lot of lab, a lot of basic stuff. We learn our head to toe assessments and so on. Our second semester is mainly med surge. We learn more, I guess, more in depth of what we learned first semester. I feel like I relearned everything we learned in first semester, but it got even more deep and we just it was just like more critical thinking the test got harder extremely harder our second semester we have to teach ourselves so it's really it's like a really hard transition to go into a teacher teaching you and then no one's teaching you at all and you're like what the heck like how do i teach myself um how do i manage my time and i feel like so many of us struggled in second semester and a lot of students had to drop out because they just couldn't figure it out. If you just keep trying and you you give yourself, you know, that positive motivation, you could definitely get through it and luckily I did and I'm so thankful for it. So third semester, I'm really, really excited for because I've always said I wanted to work with kids, pediatrics, NICU, something of that sort. Who knows if I will end up somewhere else, but that's been like my passion ever since I started. I'm like, I'm going to work with kids. I'm going to work with kids. And I've been saying that since I started, so we'll see if I do end up working with kids. So our semester consists of three different rotations. Our first rotation is labor and delivery. Second rotation is pediatrics, and our third rotation is psych. So I'm super excited for the first two rotations because it has to do obviously with kids, with moms. I love all that. Psych, I'm excited for. I'm really nervous about because I don't know what to expect at all. But I'm super excited for the semester because it's, it's called the specialty semester and we're going to learn so much and I'm so excited. So preparing myself to what I'm going to take to class these um, next couple months. Um, I went yesterday to the store while my right is in the whole white world. And I got some folders. I got three folders since I'm going to have three rotations. And I want to make sure I'm very organized. And this binder is from last semester. This is my binder from last semester. And I'm probably just going to take out all this stuff out and just reuse it. I have bought so many binders already. I think I have like five binders of these. And they're just full of paper. This one is actually small. First semester's binder was insane insane but since second semester we it was more teacher yourself so I ended up just I stopped printing because we print so much it's so much paper so I'm gonna reuse this binder and also I bought more sticky tabs because sticky tabs are seriously 
so good for organizing i love to organize my stuff if you don't organize you're gonna feel really lost when you're trying to find a certain chapter or something if you could just organize just a little bit by putting sticky tabs in your binder between the different powerpoints it's gonna help you so much next i got pens because we read so much i wrote that pens and more pens because i'm obsessed with different types of pens Next, I got some ink because we print so much. I print at school, but it's just not enough. And they give you like a certain amount of money that you could use in the beginning of the semester, but it's never enough. And you always have to waste your money. So I either print at school, pay there, or I try to print at home, whatever. I'm buying ink all semester. The most important thing for nursing school is highlighters. I've never used highlighters this much in my life. Never in anatomy, never in chemistry, none of those classes. I needed so many different colored highlighters. Like, these are just three, but I have green, I have orange, I have bought so many, and they run out because you need color coordination in order to try to retain all that information. Like, it's so needed. First semester, we used Scantrons to do our tests, and we needed some number two pencils, and either way, I like writing in pencil too. And then second semester, we did all our tests on the computers. And then third semester, I believe we're going to use Scantrons again. So next, I got a notebook. I got... The thing about it is that I don't like to have so many things because at the end of your semesters, you have so many papers from the whole semester. Like, literally so many papers. It's just seriously a waste. It's, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, there's nothing really you can do about it. I got one notebook and they're all in sections. So each... Each class, I'm going to try to separate it to see if I could just use one notebook. So what else do you want to bring to class? I print out all my PowerPoints, and I do them in the, like, the three sheets. Oh, I did three minutes so I could show you. The PowerPoint, and you could write here on the side. So that's how I'm going to print out my PowerPoints, and I also print them out in um, note form, which it cuts out all the squares and it just words which is easier for me like to review i could just read it over read it over read it over until i try to understand everything and get the information down what you could also bring to class is your laptop if you have a laptop that's smaller than this or you like to take notes in your laptop and you're allowed to take your laptop i would take your laptop if possible i also bring my tablet my tablet has all my books in there so if we need to bring our book um, I have all ebooks and I love having ebooks. I don't know if every school is like that. Probably, I don't know. Every school is different. So I got lucky and I was able to buy ebooks. Okay, so this is my tablet and. Oh, that's a glare. So it's called Bookshelf. It's an app called Bookshelf. And you just sign in and you find the book that you need. So last semester we used the MedSearch book a lot. I don't know if you could see that. And we use the pharmacology, all that. So this semester, I have all my books here. So in the beginning of the semester, my first semester, we I bought the whole book package. And I have all my books here. So I think I'm starting with maternal child nursing. And all the chapters are here. I could search them all on the side. It's really easy to use. To class, you could bring your ebooks or whatever in your tablet. I also have an app on my phone. Just in case I, don't, I forget this, I could bring that. Another thing you want to take to class that has been super helpful, or honestly the most helpful thing that I could give you is this point, is to bring a recorder or be able to record on your phone and record the lectures. This has been like literally number one for me to study. It's such a good thing to have. Um, so many teachers talk so fast and they just ramble and you don't have time to write everything. But you do have to ask your teacher if you're allowed to record because sometimes they don't let you but in my school so far no one has ever said no you're not allowed to record me so that has helped me a lot especially in first semester when it, when the teachers were actually teaching us i would listen to recordings two three times with notes without notes on my way to school on my way to clinical i listen to the lectures and it helped me so much it helped me retain the information very well so i would definitely 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 recommend a recorder or on the phone. I don't have a recorder. I record it on my phone and I just go to voice memos. I just go to voice memos on my phone and I record all my lectures on here. And I have, I still have all my lectures from first semester and second semester on here. This has been a lifesaver and I would definitely recommend 
to record your lectures. And the last thing I want to say about uh, starting school and what to take to class, I would say is try to bring a positive attitude to class or when you wake up in the morning and you have to go to clinical, whatever it is, try to keep that positive attitude because at the end of the day, this is what you want to do. And if you think a bad thought and you're like, and you know what, this is not worth it, or I can't do this, or I'm not smart enough, don't think that. Yes, you can. We could all do this. So always try to bring that positive attitude everywhere you go. If this is what you want to do, try to always maintain that positive attitude, that positive mentality, and you will get through all of this. So this video went way too long. I just wanted to say I'm happy I'm back and I hope I, literally I hope I hope, really really try to do more videos because I'm so excited about nursing and I just want you to follow my journey because you might be in the same situation and you don't know what to expect and I'm here for you. I am here for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!